Yesterday, Jace released some more information about Update 8, specifically about blueprints. However, there was a new feature which they showed off, which they didn't mention. Did you catch it? Well, if not, do not worry. We're going to be covering that shortly. But firstly, I wanted to cover the video's information. Jace opened the video with a little bit of information about what's not being changed with update 8 for blueprints. Firstly, larger blueprint sizes. I know a lot of you want them and are really interested in seeing that in game, but they're not going to be doing that for update 8. And the other thing is blueprint snapping. So they've actually been working on the snapping issues um, throughout update seven, and they've actually made a lot of improvements to that. However, I do know a lot of you still really want the ability to snap blueprints, specifically things like conveyors or pipes to other conveyors and pipes, which I definitely love to see, but I can't see that so far, given that in the previews, um, we can see that they're still connecting everything, uh, all the blueprints together manually. Regardless, there's still some great new additions, such as the ability to use the radial dial to quickly switch between and select the blueprints that you want, um, which are within a given subcategory that you choose. Now, I feel this is actually a fantastic addition because up until now, I've not felt the need to specify categories for my blueprints or subcategories for that matter. And by doing this now, we'll not only be saving space in our hotbar, especially if, like me, you prefer scrolling through the build menu rather than scrolling through other um, hotbars, but it'll also be pretty quick to select them through the radial dial as well. Another feature that's been brought to blueprints is the white arrow, which shows off the position of the blueprint so you know which way is facing forwards forwards being the direction which faces the blueprint designer's displays. Now this is a small addition, but definitely makes our lives a lot easier, especially when you're building larger modules to your factory, which may have multiple splitters and mergers and may find it difficult to separate all of the arrows. The other two features, however, have made some big changes to how we use blueprints. The first of those being the ability to place and lock the hologram down prior to placing the blueprint itself. Now this is one of those features that I've been asking for a lot, in fact ever since the smart mod added it to their system, and I'm surprised we weren't given this with the first rendition of the blueprint designer. But better yet, this has been improved upon by Coffee Stain further, with the ability to nudge the blueprint along the grid slightly by one meter. Uh, to activate this lock system, all you need to do is place H and this will allow you to walk around the build before clicking again and placing the blueprint. However, if you've not got the right position, you can use those arrow keys, as I've mentioned, to nudge the blueprint to the desired position. This also works for structures as well and really will be a massive time saver, saver for anyone who finds themselves carefully placing buildables down for a, a a given look that they're going for. Now there is a maximum nudge distance that you need to be aware of, which is eight meters in one meter increments or half the size of the buildable, whichever's larger, which sounds more than sufficient for me. And the final blueprint feature is the ability to delete the whole blueprint in one click. And even better, if you adjusted the blueprint, you'll still be able to delete all the pieces of the blueprint that were there initially. And that truly is a game changer for anyone who's using a lot of blueprints. I can't tell you how many times I've either reloaded a game so I don't have to delete everything, or I've spent ages just trying to delete that one blueprint. Now, in order to do this mass delete, you need to change your dismantle mode to blueprint dismantle, which you can see is as simple as pressing the R button whilst your build tool is out in the delete mode. But that's not the only feature that they've hinted at in this video or the new things they've shown off, such as those new cacti that you can see in the background of this shot. Oh, and by the way, we go over the world changes and some before and after shots of Lumen in our previous or most recent satisfactory video. 
which highlights everything the team talked about in their last live stream, showing off a load more content about update eight. If you're interested in seeing that, do check out the video in the top right hand link now or top, top right hand corner. But I'm also led to believe that there's going to be more coming that they've kept secret. As they mentioned in the previous video, that there's something secret in the rocky desert cave. But enough of that, the other new feature that they've added is the standing conveyor pole now looks like it's placed automatically when placing down a conveyor for the first time. This isn't a huge change, but it will be a time saver. It also lends to the idea that perhaps hypertubes and pipes may also have the same build system in place now. But let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Owen, Fireless and Trebor, as well as our Lunas, the Calamity Bend, Star, Shoku the Yemen Wolf and That Dude AW, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Adam the Useless. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.